The metacarpus is formed by a variable number, depending on the species, of long bones, which are numbered from the radial to the ulnar side. In domestic species, the dog has five metacarpals, although the first one is smaller than the others. In other species, the number of these bones undergoes various reductions. In odd-toed ungulates, like the horse, the first and fifth metacarpals are lacking, whilst the second and fourth are very reduced. This makes the third metacarpal the main bone, articulating with the only digit these animals have. In even-toed ungulates, ruminants and pigs, the second and fourth metacarpals are the main ones, the rest are reduced or absent. In horses, then, there are three metacarpals in each thoracic extremity. Of them, the third is very developed. It is a very strong bone and it has a digit attached. The second and fourth metacarpals are very small and do not reach the distal part of the region. In the third metacarpal, a body and two extremities can be distinguished. The body has a more or less oval cross section, which differentiates it from the metatarsals of the pelvic extremity, which has a more rounded cross section. It has a large amount of compact substance, which gives it great robustness. The dorsal aspect of the body is smooth and convex. The palmar surface, however, is more straight and together with the small metacarpals forms a groove through which the interosseous muscle or suspensory ligament of the fetlock runs. The base or proximal extremity has an articular surface that adapts to the bones of the distal row of the carpus. The largest part corresponds to the third carpal, although there are also small surfaces on the sides to articulate with the second and fourth. Towards the medial side of the dorsal surface is the tuberosity of the second metacarpal bone that serves as an insertion point for the radiocarpal extensor muscle. The distal extremity, or head, presents an articular surface for the proximal phalanx and for the proximal sesamoid bones. It has the shape of a trochlea divided into two condyles by the presence of a sagittal projection. The second and fourth metacarpals are located on each side of the palmar surface of the third metacarpal, and in them a body and two extremities are distinguished. The proximal extremity is flat to articulate with the carpal bones. In the case of the second metacarpal, there are two surfaces to articulate with the second and third carpals. On the contrary, the fourth metacarpal usually presents a single surface that serves to articulate with the fourth carpal. The body of the small metacarpals is long and sharp towards the distal extremity. An extremity consisting of a small nodule located approximately two thirds or three quarters of the length of this region. In equines, each extremity also consists of two proximal sesamoid bones that are located on the palmar aspect of the extremity in relation to the distal end of the third metacarpal and to the proximal end of the first phalanx. Each sesamoid bone is pyramidal with a distal base and proximal apex. Its articular surface is adapted to the corresponding articular surface of the third metacarpal and on its flexor surface, on the palmar surface and in its oblique direction, the tendon of the deep digital flexor is located. There is a third concave surface for the fixation of the interosseous muscle. Ruminants also have three metacarpals, but their relative size is very different from equines. Large ruminants have the third, fourth and fifth metacarpals, although the fifth is rudimentary. Small ruminants have the second, third and fourth metacarpals, the second being the rudimentary one. In both small and large ruminants, the third and fourth metacarpals are fused, forming a single bone. There is a longitudinal dorsal and palmar groove and two distal trochleas, one for each proximal phalanx. This large metacarpal has a joint surface for the carpus with two faces. The medial is larger than the lateral. The body of the bone is shorter, wider and flatter than in the horse. The distal extremity, or head, is divided into two parts by the intertrochlear notch. Each part is formed by a trochlea similar, but much smaller than that of the horse. Each of these trochleas articulates with the first phalanx and the proximal sesamoid bones of the corresponding digit. 
Ruminants have four proximal sesamoids, two for each digit. They are much smaller than on the horse. Each pair of bones articulates with each other with the distal extremity of the third or fourth metacarpal and with the proximal phalanx.